hello guys in the previous tutorial I have shown you that how you can create a database in MySQL yolk so now uh, there are two methods by which you can insert table in your database I will show you the first method which is really really simple what you have to do is uh, you can see that here uh, your database is shown as we have previously created I have selected from here my DB is focused we will uh, check whether it contains tables or not uh, by default we haven't inserted any table in it so what I will do is click on this plus uh, sign and in the table section I would right click and I would click on create table now you will be presented with a similar interface what you would have to do is insert the table name I would inst insert for example the table name is students the database is this engine is uh, I would select InnoDB corrector is default and collection is default and in this section we would be presented with the column name, data type, length, primary key, not null, unsigned, auto increments, zero fill etc. What you have to do is you have to give all the column names to this. I would for the students I would uh, recommend uh, we have the ID and the student name and uh, by which date the student name is inserted these three fields are there in this database I would select the data type to end and uh, student name to uh, character this is date and this is character length is 45 for this this is 10 and that is not specified the first ID key is our primary key here and it is not null and we would auto increment it student name cannot be null and that cannot be null it should be filled we would click on save and our table uh, will be created here by the name of students you can see it here and uh, if you want to see the indexes here we have id, std name and date underscore created fields and if i write here show tables in the query you will see that our students table is created now the other way uh, of creating the table is bit coding style this is uh, if you are administrating a database this is really an easy just create a table and start inserting the content but rather in the uh, next tutorial we will be working with PHP so in PHP we don't have the facility like this to insert tables like by doing some operations well uh, we have in PHP my admin but our main focus would be to learn all the query commands uh, in this so the next way is the command is in the description and uh, I have clearly and uh, in tail uh, explained each and every term here I would write create create table and uh, I would create uh, suppose uh, address table now this is the syntax for creating a table create table name of the table open um, call it the brace or whatever I have forgot its name and the closing brace and the semicolon 
and what you have to write is our first field was ID second field was uh, here student name but here would be the address underscore student and here would be dead underscore created so what I would do here I would specify its type its type is int and it can uh, have a value up to 10 legs etc and it is not null and it is auto increment by the way if uh, you want to complete something you can use the tab on the keyboard and it is primary and key that's the beauty of SQL and what you have to do is you write character I would specify the address is more like 200 characters and it's not null and the date and not null double check the syntax every time you create something we have the id field to add address underscore student and data underscore created everything is set we would click on execute query and our table is inserted if we write show tables you will see that we have the address and the students table also note that whenever you are working in a query nothing will be displayed here like the databases and the tables yeah if you close this connection disconnect all and reconnect it then your tables will be displayed here because some of the uh, some of you guys will be figuring out that when you will write the query here why doesn't it affect here by the time well I don't know what's the really matter but I have figured out that by disconnecting this and reconnecting it all of your tables and databases will be shown here well today we have learned how to create tables in our databases in the next uh, tutorial we will learn how to insert data into these databases or uh, tables etc thank you guys